YouTube friends, family, subscribers. This is an older 2002 model Trace, 3600 watt, 24 volt. There's a lot of them still around. They last a long time. This one was new old stock. It was installed as backup and then never used. I'm still trying to get the return amps low enough so that it doesn't go into uh, absorb mode so quickly. According to my TriStar with the parameters that I have it set for for L16s, uh, it's able to put a whole lot more energy into this, this battery bank. Uh, in fact, close to what it looked like today, 150 amp hours more. For some reason this thing actually goes into float when the solar can put another 150 amp hours in. So I was reading, it says, do you think your charger is going into float stage too soon? Turn battery size pot counterclockwise to decrease return amps. So I did that right here and I'm using uh, the smallest turns that I can the battery bank is 860 amp hour bank at 24 volts and I've got it turned down to 510 now and it's able to put 70 amps in it's still in absorb mode there's 6.4 coming in so like I said the bolt the uh, solar thinks we should still be in bulk mode it hasn't even gone into absorb and it shouldn't because the battery bank is not full so now we're able to put in 70 amps I'm running the, the diesel generator and it's passing through power straight to the house while it's putting 70 amps on the battery bank and this is the the story here it's telling me that I'm putting 73 I'm in the charge mode 73 amps into the bank the batteries are at 85 percent and to show you what I was talking about if I look at how many amp hours it's missing it says there's minus 127 amp hours so the solar was capable of putting another 127 amp hours at 24 volts into this battery bank when this inverter charger says oh we're full enough so that's what I'm trying to tweak and reading the manual if I can't get there and get it the way I want it. I'm going to download a program from Trace. There's a COM port right here and I'm going to be able to uh, create my own charge criteria using a laptop. It's probably going to take um, an XP program. I don't think Windows 7 or Windows 8 will work with that old program but they still give it to you download for free and I don't need a battery sense wire on here because most of the time I'm just using solar anyway and it does have a battery temperature sense wire. So 126 amp hours down I would expect the inverter charger to continue charging so that's the sweet spot we're looking for haven't ever had to run this diesel before. Uh, last winter we ran it a few times but I didn't really try to use the diesel for keeping the bank because I was experimenting with the hybrid uh, generator that we have. So I'll let you know how it goes. So far this thing's wanting to stay in absorb mode and it's willing to continue to put 70 amps into the bank. So I'm happy with that. Hope it stays here for another uh, hour and a half and then I'll know it will have a similar charge criteria to the TriStar. Hope that helps somebody out there that's messing with these old trace inverter chargers. This one is called a 3624, about a 2002 model. They're still running, found a few of them out there on YouTube, still going. They, they should last a good 20 years if you take care of them. Have a blessed day.